by having the Timber King 2000 sawmill, having the Timber King dry kiln, then my product comes in here and I have a board. I can actually take that board, run it through my spiral cutter head on this 718, then I can take it even further than that. Every time I take it through this machine, it's adding 50 cents a board foot, or sometimes linear foot, to that product, where I can run it through as molding after it came out of the spiral cutter head, and now I've got you know, up to three to four dollars a linear foot for three inch wide molding that's coming out of a six inch board. So every time it goes through these machines, we're adding value, adding value, adding value. And you can run it through these machines and, and triple your money on the boards that you process off of Timber King 2000. My name is Bill St. Pierre. I own and operate St. Pierre Woodworking in uh, Floyd, Virginia. I started out um, 15 or so years ago just building furniture, going to the local lumber yards and buying the material from them, paying the high cost. Um, it got to a point in my business where I really needed to get the cost down on the furniture so that I could make more money on the labor. By doing that, I chose to buy a Timber King 2000 sawmill. Uh, since then, my business has, has almost doubled because I'm not only selling furniture now, I'm also selling lumber to other woodworkers, home builders. I saw urban trees that have fallen down. Um, I don't pay a lot for my logs. A lot of them I get for free. And I find that you know all these older trees that are on front yards and stuff have the most character. So we're actually uh, taking a lot of the bigger logs and saw them in, into two inch slabs. I have a showroom here where we sell the two inch slabs and we also use some of the slabs in the shop for, for projects that we do. So here we just cut a walnut tree log that was in a yard. This is what I was talking about earlier about urban lumber. And uh, you can take an old yard tree like this and make this type of wood even with the defects in it, it adds character. A lot of woodworkers like that. You can take a log like this and make two payments on your mill, right here. Once I started using the Timber King products, um, I was introduced to the Woodmaster Tools, which is a sister family of Timber King. Uh, I have then purchased uh, two 718 uh, molder planers, which is a big part of my business because now I've gone from just selling lumber to making flooring as well. We have a uh, 5075 50 inch drum sander by Woodmaster, which is incredible. It's cut the sanding time down by, by hours. You know, when we get a project, when we get doors or whatever from a kitchen or whatnot, or big slabs when the customer wants them sanded, we'll take and, and, and sand them for them right here as they buy them. And that adds another value, which adds, you know, where we can charge an, ex, an additional amount for the slab because it's sanded. So everything so far that I've purchased here in just the last few years has tripled my income um, here at St. Pierre Woodworking. Actually right here is an example of one of the logs that we took out of Tobacco Barn that was actually getting ready to go underwater. They were building a dam and uh, this Tobacco Barn was in the, in the wetland where it was going to be flooded. Um, we, we took the building down and the process only takes about two days to take a building down and haul it back here to the shop. We'll actually saw this, this building um, into one inch boards. A lot of times I'll save some of the logs um, for custom orders if somebody wants inch and a half or two inch boards. Um, then we can custom saw it to their size. A building, uh, an 18 by 18 tobacco building can sometimes generate up to $6,000 worth of lumber and that's before we've even run it through the Woodmaster tools. Once it goes through those tools and we can turn it into moldings for uh, the restorations on older homes, we can double that price. With the Timber King 2000 sawmill with all the hydraulics, um, I'm able to come out here by myself if my worker's inside uh, working with the Woodmaster tools. Um, if he's running flooring or making moldings or whatnot and we need some wood um, back in stock, I can come out here and actually saw by myself with all the hydraulics, uh, the simple set. It makes my life a whole lot easier. Um, I'm not having to do hardly any manual labor. Even when the, when the log is sawn, I can lift it up with the hydraulic tow boards, take the material off the mill, stack it, and we can sticker it later. But you know, having the hydraulics has made my life a whole lot easier with the Timber King 2000. So another process in our tree to trim is the dry kiln. Um, and Timber King offers a dry kiln system. They offer a few actually. This one here, I'm able to dry hardwood lumber, one inch thick, four quarter lumber in about three weeks. Um, it'll also dry, you know, eight quarter lumber as well. By taking the wood off the mill, uh, letting it air dry for just a couple weeks, 
um, or putting it in the solar kiln and then putting it in here to finish it off, I can have it down to 6% moisture content in just three weeks. Therefore, that makes the whole cash flow thing move a whole lot faster. I don't have to take the wood out, store it in a building, wait a year for it to dry, and then sell it. You really have to be prepared when you're selling to professional woodworkers that the wood is dry. Um, so they're not calling you, you know, three months down the road saying that their project is, is moving or cracking. Another option is with the reclaimed material that we have, we can put the reclaimed wood in here and either set the pitch if it's pine or kill any bugs that, you know, may be in the wood. Um, by, by getting the temperature up, it allows us to do that. Therefore, when we send this product out, we don't have to worry about the customer calling and saying, hey, I found some bugs or some worms or some ants in the wood. Um, with, the, with the Timber King dry kiln, we can erase all those problems. So the value added with the Timber King dry kiln is, is huge. I'm actually able to take the lumber um, right off the mill and put it in the kiln, get it down to eight, six percent moisture content wherever I want. And um, you know, it's, it's taking a dollar a board foot lumber and turning it into four dollar a board foot lumber. So having that option, it, it, it's huge. The price of the kiln, the price of the chamber, is, is offset tremendously by the amount of money that you're getting back on the lumber over just, just a period of a, of a year. On the Timber King dry kiln, um, it does not come with a building. You can actually get the building, which they call the chamber, um, as well. But they send you all the instructions on how to build a building, which is what we did here. Real simple. Um, it doesn't cost a whole lot of money. So the whole package deal with the chamber and the, and, and the kiln, um, you can keep it around $10,000 or so but the money you're making back on your lumber is enormous. So, you know, looking at the, at the numbers at first could be a little bit scary, but this Timber King kiln's not even a year old and it's already paid for itself. We can take the 700 board feet of lumber out of the kiln and put it through the Timber King 900 tail and edger, and we can edge it within about an hour and a half to two hours in the yard. This is the machine that really gets it done. On the Timber King tail and 900 edger, one of its features is you can actually move one blade uh, left and right just by turning a knob in the back of the machine. A lot of the other edges don't have that. You actually have to loosen up the blades and slide them individually. This way here, if we're actually running four, six, and eight inch stuff, we can just keep right on running just by the one crank, you know, the scale is back there. The blades are split for easy maintenance. You can actually just undo four bolts and the blades come right off the mantle. You can also add an extra blade, so if you wanted to, if you had 12 inch bores or, or something and you're making all 3 inch stock or 4 inch stock, you can actually run the one 12 inch bore through there and all these blades would be cutting. You could actually even stack another blade in there uh, where you, you had 4 blades running on the machine. The machine will cut, you know, right around 18, 19 inches wide of a slab, so you can get a lot of bores out of that one shot versus if you're on the Timber King 2000, that's that many more cuts you've got to make with the Timber King to make that happen. A lot of the older machines, you know, you, you, you had to undo the, the bolts, move your blade all the time, and this way here, just the process is that much faster, and Timber King's keeping that in mind, you know, trying to make the production happen. Once we've dried and we edge the wood on the Talon 900 edger, we bring it here to the shop where we'll bring it inside. Uh, we'll plane it through the 718 Woodmaster planer. Uh, then we'll run it through the 718 molder that we have that is set up with the, uh, with the routers to do the tongue and groove and make flooring out of it. Uh, we're going to be running three and a quarter inch flooring for an old uh, farmhouse here in Virginia. By adding these Woodmaster tools to my, my say, uh, my tree to trim business um, has, has really made things, you know, real good for it. For instance, being able to saw the lumber on the Timber King sawmill to bring the material in here to run it through these Woodmaster tools where I can do all the moldings, all the trim, um, on that piece of furniture, I don't have to say, okay, well, this came from this lumber yard, this came from this lumber yard. You know, it's all done here at St. Pierre Woodworking. And that, that really means a lot to me. Um, and, and it means a lot to the customer as well. And, and, and having that, that option um, and having Woodmaster standing behind me like they have, um, this is a really tough business. And when you can save money, you want to save money. And by using Woodmaster tools, um, I've not only saved money, but I'm making a ton of it now. And, and that, that means a lot to me. And also having these 718s, where I have a Timber King 2000 sawmill, I have the Timber King dry kiln. I'm at a point now where I have the perfect wood to do just about anything I want to do with it. By having these 718s, I can make that happen. I can make any type of molding, any width of floor up to 14 inches wide. The spiral cutter head in this machine here puts a finish on it that's pretty much ready for a finish. There's hardly any sanding left to do in it. Um, it works good on, on real figured hardwoods and whatnot where it doesn't tear the grain out. 
with a spiral cutter head, we get a nice smooth finish. So a lot of my customers that buy my wood are the small woodworkers in their basement or in their garage, and they don't have a planer. And by me taking the, the, the wood and running it through the 718 with a spiral cutter head, getting it down to a three quarter inch size for them, they're ready to just take it off my shelf, bring it home and work with it. That adds value to the wood. So I just went from a $3 a board foot piece of lumber to a $4 a board foot piece of lumber. And then if I get past that point where I want to take that piece of lumber that I just planed, I can then run it through the molding machine and make moldings out of it. I can make lots of different types of moldings, just put them in the racks and people will come and choose which ones they want. And I just took the money from here and tripled it just by putting it through this machine. And when you're talking 1,000 to 2,000 board feet of lumber, the price of these things is paid off in no time. And that's what it's done here. These machines have paid for themselves pretty much in the first six months of use. I chose the 50 inch 5075 Woodmaster mainly for the big slabs that we saw in the Timber King 2000. A lot of the customers come up here and pick out their slabs and they, uh, they don't really have a way to sand them down and whatnot, but by having the, uh, the 50 inch wide sander, we're able to do that for them. It's a real simple uh, setup. A lot easier to work on than the, the other 50 inch sanders that I was looking at before. To change the paper, it's quick and easy. Uh, does a great job on the bigger slabs. And also adds value to some of the lumber that we sell as far as the S4S lumber. We're able to go run it through the machine and just sand it for some of our uh, specialty customers. Um, make, makes things a whole lot quicker. In this case, when you're sanding slabs, it gets real difficult to lift them if you're by yourself a lot and carry them back around the, uh, the machine. But with Woodmaster, they got this reverser switch on it, which works really well. Once the machine goes by, you, you can sand back in reverse and um, you don't have to lift the slab up. You know, it's, it's a one-shot deal. So it works really good. A couple of the things I like about the Woodmaster dust collection system is the size and the price. Um, as you can see, it's just sitting on a small shelf here in the shop. It's not taking up any room on the floor. Um, a lot of the dust collectors I've had in the past, you know, took up two bags and whatnot, and um, they really didn't have the suction that, th that this one here has. This machine is hooked up to three machines. It could probably be hooked up to more machines. In this case, my shop's a little large, so we're not running the pipes across the shop. The value of it getting the chips off the wood is, is huge to me because if you're running crown moldings or whatnot and those chips can't get sucked up off that material, off, off that wood, it'll leave dents in the wood and actually bring the value down. So having a real good dust collection system with machines like this that really throw out a lot of chips is really important. And again, Woodmaster has that. Having Timber King and Woodmaster on my side um, has made my business that much more profitable. I, by being able to take a tree uh, and turn it into boards and then bring it into the shop after it's kiln dried in the Timber King dry kiln, run it through the uh, 718 Woodmaster molding machines. You know, I'm able to make any type of molding, any type of knife can be made, uh, make flooring to match old homes, um, has just made my business that much more profitable. So if you have a dream like I did, you know, having the fantasy wood shop and the woodworking business like I have here, um, you really need people to help you out with that. And with Timber King and Woodmaster Tools, they've been there for me 100%. Between the financing, between you know, getting the machines here, the maintenance on the machines, um, they've made everything that much easier for me. And when you're in this business, there's a lot of different things you need to worry about. And with Timber King and Woodmaster Tools, all that worry's gone. You know, um, a, a lot of times I thought to myself, you know, am I going to be able to do it? You know, in my retirement years, am I going to be able to run this sawmill and deal with all this stuff? And the answer is yes, you know, I mean, this is going to be, this is my retirement. This is what I want to do. I want to do and um, I love doing it. And, you know, I just, uh, if I was ever to start over again, you know, or, you know, I would always buy a Timber King sawmill. Um, you know, so if you're in the business and you, or in, in the process of buying a new mill, I wouldn't go anywhere else but Timber King or Woodmaster Tools.